We can all agree that pollution is bad, right? However, you don't tend to see a lot of change in the private sector. Why is that? If you ask me, it's because the advice given to reducing pollution is unrealistic, impractical, or just a bad idea. I mean, how many people do you really expect to buy a Tesla? Well, what if I said that there are ways that you, yes you, can reduce the pollution you put out all while saving the other type of green? Yes, it is possible. And with that, I present the top seven ways to reduce pollution for the average consumer. Number one, efficient driving. While cars come with a fixed fuel efficiency, chances are you're wasting a lot of gas. How do you fix this? Practice efficiency increasing driving techniques. The short list includes don't speed and use cruise control, coast when approaching a stop sign or red light and brake softly, keep your windows closed, make sure your tires are properly inflated. Number two, light bulbs. Light bulbs kind of suck. They last a few months and burn out at the worst time, not to mention the amount of electricity they suck up. Let me introduce you to LED bulbs. Though more expensive than conventional bulbs, LEDs save huge amounts of energy. For example, an incandescent bulb uses 60 to 100 watts, while an LED uses 12. They also last 50 times longer than incandescents. Chances are, they'll save you quite the buck in the long run. Bonus tip. If LED bulbs are too much, CFLs are a good substitute. They use 70% less energy than incandescents and are cheaper than LEDs. Number three, full load. The small load of laundry or dishes is the death by a thousand cuts of water usage. It is essential to do loads of laundry and dishes only when full. This uses significantly less water over time. Bonus tip, if your dishwasher has a short cycle option, use it. It will save you water. Number four, transportation. In America, everything is far away but driving a lot uses gasoline. What's the solution? Walk and use a bike when you can. Now, in some situations you just have to drive and that's understandable. However, using a bike to travel short distances not only uses no gas but is good for your health. Studies show that cycling can increase your cardiovascular health and your general mood. Number five, toilets. Water-saving toilets do a world of good not only for the environment but for your water bill. They're not that expensive either, some running the same price or cheaper than regular toilets. When in doubt, look for the water sense label. Number six, gardening. A favorite pastime of many, gardening is a cheap and virtually free method of producing your own food. Even apartment dwellers can buy the old tomato plant or two. Not only does it give you fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables, it reduces the amount of plastic packaging that one throws away. You don't have to package something you grew in your backyard. If you don't have a green thumb, visit the link in the description. Number seven, recycle. This is one of the more obvious yet most important steps. Most plastics, glass, metal, and paper can all be reused. If your city has a recycling program, use it. If your state has a bottle and can return program, use it. Bonus tip. Batteries, used oil, and light bulbs can be recycled. For more information, research your region's hazardous waste disposal facilities.